Hello, and welcome to all of our ships. And in this game I was playing with the North Carolina. Because, why not? And it's my highest tier ship, so... At least non-premium. I do have a lot of tier 8, 3 of them. But, anyway, moving on. This is my highest tier normal ship. And people... Well, don't seem to like it that much, but it's growing on me, and it's still stock, so I can only it can only improve, I think. So I ho at least I hope so. Anyway, I open up on this. Well, I opened up at something else before, but I missed. But I hit the Miyoko for 7k, which is okay at this range, at least. I mean, it's nine, almost 19 kilometers. I don't expect to hit much from this distance. And apparently there Amagi and Miyoko are trying to have a baby, so I'll fire at them. Because we don't want that. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing uh, the Super uh, North Carolina Tactics, which is slowly moving forward with your bow f to the front. Pretty much if you go broadside in the ship, you're dead. That's my motto. And Oh, I'm in a division with Havadoc and Costas. Costas is in the Amagi, yeah. And Havadoc is in the Ogami. And oh, that Nagato just figured out why you don't sit still in front of a North Carolina. Hit him for 20k. And well back but it doesn't matter too much. I decided to, since they aren't firing much at me, to try to fire my background at something. And at the same time the enemy has two destroyers at this position and a lot of ships so that's the reason we are not pushing in. Enemy heavily and oh, that, uh, Amagi got Citadel as well a good start for the match, in my opinion. Anyway, I can't push, push forward because of the, the Farragut and the Bliskavica. So, yeah, at least they are now retreating, so at this point I'm thinking, well, I may, might go a bit forward, but the rest of my team is pretty much at the back. Costas was on the fire, so he has, has to retreat a bit. Um, and Hava is trying to go one line. We'll see how that works out. Unfortunately, the Cleveland and the Miyoko has, are, uh, are leaving me as well. So I slow down, put my bow towards them again. And hope the Farragut doesn't run at me. Because that's... He seems to be going back to me. At least according to the last known position. So try to turn around and move back again because now I am getting fired upon which is dangerous and there's the Farragut so yeah that might be a problem although this island sh will shield me nicely fortunately it sets me on fire but I instantly repair it because now I'll Probably not be on the fire for some time. And I spot an Aggie. Launched my plane to spot the Farragut, not to fire long range or anything. Uh, I actually hate that part. Oh, and I set to tell the Amagi again. <laughs> so he's almost dead. And I easily evade the torps from the Bliska which is now spotted, but as I said the cruisers were moving away from me so they can't do anything about it. And now I make a mistake. I don't know if you can see the line, but the Maggie just ran into it. The edge. And it's the... I think it's some mod that just doesn't let me see it. Oh well, it's all missed those shots. Doesn't matter too much. 
and I'll retreat some more. Which I really don't want to, I want to attack at this point. But those destroyers are making it hell. And I was actually hoping that the Clevens would go to like F4. Because then I can move up. And they, well, they won't really uh, have us being fired upon again, so he has to retreat as well. He was trying to screen me. Anyway, now Maggie might die now. Yeah, there we go, another citadel. So that's their tier 8 down, while I have nearly no damage. So, that's pretty good. I turn away again because I'm really afraid the police guy is close. And there's nothing to shoot at. Poor us. Apparently they can shoot at me. Ah, there's an Nakato. Let's fire at him. I'm broadside to him, so this is a bit dangerous. If he fires at me, he could set the tell me easily. But I, this ship turns reasonably well, so I'll go bow on now. And I have Ava in the Mogami sporting me if the Bliska gets close. At least I hope so. Cleveland's uh, Cleveland's behind me as well, so. Might be okay. And the other Cleveland is finally going at least towards F4. So I'll move forward. Fortunately that folly on the Nakato didn't do much. And there's the Farragut. I ping the map, hoping the Cleveland will fire at him, and he is actually firing at him. Farragut makes a mistake, I think, because he trying to attack the Cleveland instead of me. Because if he attacked me that would be a bigger problem for me. Then again I have the Cleveland in behind me. The Bliska is in front of me. Oh, and I said that all the Miyoko. Anyway, the Bliss might, might have torped me so I'll do some evasive maneuvering. Meanwhile, Hava Hits the Bliskovich yeah? with his orb that was meant for the Miyoko. <laughs> well, then, that's how we like it. So, that's the biggest threat taken care of, and I can definitely move forward now. Because the Farragut. And there goes the Miyoko, by the way. <laughs> nice second kill. Anyway, the Farragut got killed by the Cleveland, so. I'm just going full steam ahead now. Is an Arctago and a Cleveland somewhere, and there's the Arctago. But they are, on, they are only cruisers, so should be able to kill them. I'm just waiting for that Arctago to come around the corner. And he tried to torp me from, what, 11 kilometers at that point? So those won't get anywhere near me. At least if I don't blunder into them. But, yeah, that's a decent hit. Two penetrations, almost 9k. And I go bots are on because these can't, uh, cruisers can't penetrate my side, probably. So, and I'll rather use my back gun as well. Means more firepower. Meanwhile, the cruisers that were on the other side are running into, or came back because they were pushed on by the Fusan and Nagata on the other side. Uh, so they'll run into me on the other, on this side. Sun fire again, but I'll let it burn a bit because it's Cleveland. Oh, and I Citadel to Ataco. <laughs> That's another Citadel for me. Sixth one. Pretty good for this inaccurate ship. And actually Cleveland doesn't set me on fire again. So I could have repaired, but you never know. 
So I'll just let it burn out now. I can easily repair it. I have enough hit points. I'll fire at the Atago again. See if I can kill him. The Miyoko is actually turning towards me. Oh, I missed. Too bad. Cleveland is finally sort of hitting me again. And I heal up as well, by the way. I'll try to take him out. He's getting a bit annoying with all the HG shots. And he sets me on fire again. On fire. But I'll let it burn. Again, because he can easily set me on fire another time. Also, these other cruisers might fire HG at me as well. And I really do have the HP for this. Even though I am stuck on the stage. I'll fire at the Miyoko, because he's spotted. And the Cleveland will die anyway. Fortunately, you don't really hit the Miyoko. Cleveland dies. Ava killed him. And, well, we pretty much rolled over this team at this point. That had to go, I can't hit. He will die. Probably die, at least. Gus has a cleave in the front of him. Now I kind of want this milk. And oh, he fired torpedoes. And yeah, those actually missed me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. And the second volley is easily avoidable as well. Well, not as well. This one is easily avoidable. The other one wasn't really easy. Not that I did much, but... Damn. I was lucky there. And Ranger comes into view. Don't shoot at him. And you can see the dispersion at work against this uh, ranger. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> I mean, I only need one hit. Well, decent citadel. But, nope. Well, at least some damage. Ends in five I, uh, yeah, the Atago is dying. Ranger got killed by Costas. In a Samagi. And there's only this Miyoko left, but he's such low health and I'm behind the island, so somebody else will get him. So unfortunately, no more kills for me. But we won. So here's the result screen for that game. And I made, well made, I got 260,000 and I think in the end I made something like 150,000. My ship wasn't that damaged, so I didn't have much repair costs and such. Uh, 5k XP is pretty cool. Let's go to the team score. And I actually came in second. <laughs> uh, Hava had a monster game with 1900 base experience points. I, well, nine. 1650 basic XP isn't bad either. And cost us with 13, uh, well, almost 1400 XP. So we were firmly on top, and we actually got 8 out of 12 kills in our team, so we have to uh, be proud of that. Anyway, let's go to the detailed report. And, well, not much to say. So it's 127,167 damage done. Which is okay at tier 8, I guess. It's not a monster score, but it's, uh, it's decent. And 168 f shells fired with a battleship. And only 36 hits. So, awesome. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, higher tier replay. And until the next one.